relax. We had a lot of sunshine has made our way through the day today, and high temperatures did make the upper 90s. Once again, a little over 10 degrees above average. Average high this time of year around 86 degrees, so we were well better than that. So here's a look at the current temperatures outside at 96 in Scotts Bluff, 93 Bridgeport and Oshkosh, 91 at Sydney, 87, and uh, that's the cool spot as you make your way out toward the Harrison area. Now, here's a look at the winds, mainly from a southerly, a little bit of an easterly component in there, too. Wind speed's pretty light, 5 to 10 miles per hour in most places. That southerly wind really pumping in that warm air, and that trend will continue through most of the next week. Now, satellite loop shows that we just have a few clouds uh, into, let's say, the valley locations off to the south and east of Scotts Bluff, some clouds along the I-25 corridor, but most everybody else has complete sunshine across the region. So, all the moisture really missing us off to the east and off to the south. We have these low pressure systems out in that direction, but our weather maker is this high pressure system. It's off to the east, so we have that strong southerly flow. We're tracking this disturbance that'll make its way through as we go through the day tomorrow. Maybe some isolated chances of some showers and thunderstorms before another high pressure system is in charge for our forecast, and we'll get back to that sunny and warm weather pattern ahead. So. Skycast shows that temperature is going to fall quickly through the 80s and into the 70s this evening. Still mainly clear skies. We keep a good amount of southerly, uh, a southerly breeze. Now, uh, Skycast for your Wednesday morning shows that we're increasing the clouds a little, especially into our northern and northeastern counties, starting off into the lower 60s. Now, the best chance of some showers and thunderstorms are going to be off to the east of Scotts Bluff, and that is going to happen into the early afternoon because by around 4 or 5 p.m., we're going to be back to high high temperatures into the upper 80s and lower 90s and still mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies as any of the moisture chances move into central Nebraska. Then we clear out again starting off your Thursday morning just after sunrise into the mid 50s and then highs for your Thursday will be into the mid 90s once again still with a good amount of sunshine. Now the uh, satellite loop showing that we do have one high pressure system exiting that's giving us that uh, strong southerly flow and there's your disturbance that's sparking off the moisture chances as we go through tomorrow. High High pressure is working its way in as we go through Thursday into Friday. And uh, as it moves off to the east, we still have a strong southerly flow that is going to keep a good amount of heat over us as we finish out the weekend and then go through next week. So. Here's a look at the weather outlook. Pleasant conditions into the uh, northeast, midwest, showers off into the northeast, into Canada. And we're on the northern fringe of this uh, moisture that's reaching the south. But the main weather story is this extreme heat, big ridge in the jet stream that's going to stay with us as we finish out the weekend and even start next week. Here's your forecast for tonight. Clear skies and not as cool as last night. We're going to be to the upper 50s to near 60 for lows. Partly cloudy, isolated thunderstorms, especially east of Scotts Bluff for tomorrow. In to the upper 80s and lower 90s and then for Thursday sunny skies and still hot with high temperatures into the mid and maybe some upper 90s then for Friday at 92 lots of sunshine 95 on Saturday sunny skies on Sunday up to 98 and we stay into the mid 90s still sunshine and no moisture chances for Monday and Tuesday of next week Angel Thanks, Justin. Whether it's a new refrigerator or a time to upgrade your TV, when a major purchase comes along, it's always good to be prepared. In this Watching Your Wallet investigator, Rachel LaPompa gets advice from experts on the best times to buy new big ticket items. If you have a big ticket purchase coming up, there are a few things you can do to make it more affordable. Our partners at the financial website NerdWallet put this list together. First, shop the biggest sale weekends of the year. There are three, Memorial Day, July 4th, and Labor Day weekend. Those are the best times to get a deal on appliances, furniture, and mattresses. Television 